this paper uh, really is looking at the role of heart failure as a senescent process biologically, independence of biological age. Um, that aging affects the cardiovascular system really isn't in doubt. We know that older people have more coronary disease, more heart failure, more atrial fibrillation. There's no doubt about that. But uh, whether heart failure itself causes biological aging is less clear. Now, that kind of physiological stress induced cellular aging is what we call senescence. And that's the particular focus of this study. Hello, I'm Barry Boylston. I'm an associate professor of medicine here at Mayo Clinic. And it's my pleasure to talk to you about a paper which is going to appear in the forthcoming edition of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. And the title of this paper is Artificial Intelligence Drived ECG Assessment of Cardiac Age and Molecular Markers of Senescence and Heart Failure. We were interested in um, looking at the effects of heart failure, particularly on the stem cell niche and how heart failure might impact on the regenerative capacity of the heart. Um, we previously developed expertise when I walked, worked many years ago with uh, Rob Samari here at, uh, at Mayo um, in enumerating and isolating circulating CD34 positive um, cells and circulating blood. So we chose that as our, if you like, stem cell or progenitor cell model. Uh, rather than resident cardiac stem cells, which are the nature of, of which and identity of which is much more controversial and um, much more challenging to isolate, especially from, from humans. Um, at Mayo, we've also uniquely developed an AI ECG tool, which has demonstrated the ability uh, to predict biological age, gender, um, and even things like likelihood of having low ejection fraction, atrial fibrillation, et cetera. So it says a population, you see in the study uh, in, uh, that we looked at normal controls and compared those with patients with stable heart failure and MRTA class two symptoms, but reduced ejection fraction. Um, and then a population of patients with advanced heart failure with reduced ejection fraction who are being prepared for LVAD implantation. And these patients, importantly, were similarly matched based on their chronological age. So basically, in terms of findings, um, we found that the CD34 positive circulating cell count in the blood was reduced in patients with stable heart failure to compare to controls, and even more so if the patients had advanced heart failure to the point that they needed to be considered for LVAD implantation. We were able to look at uh, telomerase activity in those cells, we found it to be significantly reduced in those patients with stable heart failure and advanced heart failure uh, compared to normal controls of similar age. Um, another way of looking at this is to look at HTERT expression. Now, HTERT is a, one of the components of the telomerase enzyme, and we can actually look at that intracellularly looking at using flow cytometry. And uh, there's uh, data out there that it's a good surrogate for telomerase activity um, if you don't want to actually measure that using RT-PCR or can't for some reason. So it's a helpful surrogate that you can use by flow cytometry. And actually, if you look at the HTERT um, expression in the cells isolated from patients with heart failure, either stable or advanced heart failure compared to normal controls, we can see that it was significantly reduced. So all of that really suggested um, uh, senescence associated reduction in telomerase expression activity uh, in these circulation progenitor cells. Um, and we know that when cells become senescent, senescent <clears throat> they acquire a senescence associated secretory phenotype or SASP, uh, which causes inflammation and induces senescence in neighboring cells. And you can actually measure this by looking at certain proteins, and we did that. Um, and the SASP proteins that we studied were increased um, in, in abundance in um, advanced heart failure uh, patients compared to those with stable heart failure and normal controls. And actually, that was most pronounced for uh, IL-6. And then last but not least, which was the intriguing aspect of all this, is that when we use the AI-ECG tool, 
we found a similar pattern to what we were seeing in the circulation progenitor cell niche, which demonstrated that an assessment of age using the ECG um, was actually beyond or in excess of that with, uh, of, uh, of the chronological age of patients with heart failure. So in other words, there was a positive AI ECG age gap. So we were interested in using this uh, to analyze the ECGs of patients with heart failure to ascertain if they had uh, evidence of aging on those ECGs beyond their actual um, chronological age. And this is something we call the AI ECG age gap, the difference between their chronological age and what the AI ECG tool is estimating as their age from the ECG. So in a sense, getting a sense of what their cardiac age is. So uh, in particular, this was most pronounced in patients with advanced heart failure. So all of that suggested um, similar findings of premature aging at a substrate level, mirroring what we were seeing at a cellular level. Um, we want to extend gratitude to our colleagues at the uh, Van Cleve Cardiac Regeneration Program, uh, led by Dr. Bafar and also the Robert and Arlene Kogat Center in Aging. And last but not least, the Departments of Cardiovascular Medicine and Surgery, without which this study wouldn't have been possible. Uh, we look forward to you reading uh, this article in a forthcoming edition of Maitland and Proceedings, hopefully uh, in March this year. And we look forward to hearing your feedback and moving this work forwards. Thank you very much. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.